Okay, I always keep my excess wax, the ones that uh, I have laying around from my injection machine, the, the waxes that don't necessarily pass my inspection to cast. And what I'll do is I'll put them in a container and then eventually I'll melt them down in a steel or a aluminum tin. And I use this wax for my casting straws. Here's a, here's a straw that I have, and what I'll do is when I, I'll take my, uh, my wax in the tin and put it on a hot plate until the wax is all melted. What I'll do is I'll dip the straw into the wax and then place my finger over the end. And what that'll do is that'll hold it in and I'll put the, the straw in about an inch and then I'll pull that wax out and then I'll dip it in water. And what that does is it seals that. So you'll see there's about an inch or so of wax on the outside and on the inside. And what that does is during the casting, when you have this in the flask, it allows the air to stay in there without filling up with investment. So that's how I make my, my casting straws. I have my straws at different lengths. Uh, when I buy them, I think they're 10 inches long or something like that and I usually cut them down to about six inches because I don't need them any longer than that. These straws actually had the uh, the little flex on them and I cut those off because I don't use those. So um, that's what I do and then for my smaller cans I'll actually cut these down and make them about three inches long. Now if you want after these are done you can actually peel the wax off of the outside of these so that they look like this. Now this one looks like just a regular straw but it's actually got wax on the inside of it and that just gives you a little bit more clearance for for the casting area. And it's not necessary but sometimes you need all the clearance that you can get so I usually just peel off the outside the excess I just grab it with my thumb and just peel it off and it leaves the wax on the inside so that uh, I again so I have a little bit more clearance. Now what I use to hold my straws in place is just these uh, regular, I call them bobby pins I think. You can pick them up at, I pick them up at Walgreens or whatever. But, uh, and what I'll do is you can see on, on this flask I've made a mark. That's about how low I want my straws to be. I don't want them to be all the way to the bottom otherwise you're going to have um, a blowout from uh, the hole through the bottom of the flask. So what I'll do is on the inside I'll hold these about that high and then I always want to make sure that the straw is a little bit higher than the top of the flask because if it's lower when that investment is bubbling it'll actually fill that hole so it, you got to make sure that 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 is a little bit higher than the lip of the flask and you can put you know, depending on what you're casting I usually put between four and six straws in my flask and I arrange them according to how the piece inside is sticking out so if it's close to the edge on one side I'll put a couple of them you know to uh, just to make sure that it's getting and what this does is it'll allow when you're casting this way it'll allow the air to fill up these and pull um, you can kind of see what it looks like. There's no, there's no wax in there right now. But, but what that does is it allows the vacuum to pull from inside of that straw so you're actually getting more vacuum assisted during your casting. Again, some of the, the flasks that they have now are perforated. You don't need this. But on these, I use these. Or you can get the wax web and put it all the way around and it does the same thing. But I like to use the straws. Because again, I can I can put the straws kind of close to the wax that I'm, that I have inside that's casting, and I, I want to keep it uh, about a quarter of an inch away. So you want to keep it about that far away from the wax at all time. Because if it you get it too close, or if it actually touches, then you're going to be in trouble. Because when you pour the metal in, it's actually going to fill up the tubes. So that's how I use my straws for casting. And during the burnout cycle, 
even though these are plastic, the, the oven is so hot that it'll completely burn out that plastic. So all you'll have is a, a cavity inside. Mm -hmm.